In what is expected to come as a significant boost to the Russian Aerospace Forces VKS, the Nizhny Novgorod Aviation Plant Sokol, delivered a new batch of upgraded MiG-31 interceptor fighters to the Russian Ministry of Defense. The modernization work was completed in accordance with a state defense order, and the upgraded aircraft have been sent to their permanent airfields, according to a message posted on the Russian United Aircraft Corporation UAC, Telegram account, which controls the Sokol plant. The message also noted that the newly upgraded MiG-31 fighters have the same flight performance as when they were first put into service. However, they have now been fitted with additional features and capabilities to bolster their combat strength. Yuri Slyasar, General Director of UAC, said, Modernization of MiG-31 aircraft is one of the main competencies and the most important activity of the Nizhny Novgorod Sokol aircraft building plant in the UAC circuit. The enterprise fulfills its obligations to provide the Russian army with the necessary aviation equipment. In the future, work will continue within the framework of the execution of contracts for the current year. Slyasar added that the enterprise fulfills its obligation to provide the Russian army with the necessary aviation equipment. In the future, work will continue as part of the execution of this year's contracts. The UAC, however, stopped short of specifying what variant the aircraft has been upgraded to. When the plant was embarking on the upgrade program in November 2021, staff from the Nizhny Novgorod aviation plant stated that following significant maintenance and upgrades, the combat effectiveness of MiG-31 fighter interceptors would increase threefold. At the time, the plant's management went so far as to say that the MiG-31 fighter interceptor's substantial upgrade to the MiG-31BM level was the primary mission of the Sokol aviation firm, and its development has been ongoing since 2007. The upgrade program to the MiG-31BM variant level has since caught pace, despite the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February and the resultant protracted war that refuses to end. In December last year, the combat air arm of Russia's Central Military District, TSVO, stationed in the Krasnoyarsk territory, received two upgraded MiG-31BM fighter interceptors. This has fueled speculation that the aircraft has been upgraded to the MiG-31BM version. The MiG-31BM is known to be the most advanced and efficient iteration of the original MiG-31 Foxhound. According to sources in local media, it is one of the few Russian aircraft capable of intercepting and destroying cruise missiles that are flying at very low altitudes. It can be fitted with various Russian air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and its ability to intercept 24 targets at once is particularly noteworthy. Currently, Russia has three squadrons of the MiG-31BM or about 90 active fighters. Since the UAC did not specify either the variant or the number of upgraded MiG-31s delivered, it is hard to say whether the RUAF has received an additional regiment of MiG-31BM. Without more information, some experts even speculated whether the UAC upgraded the MiG-31 to the MiG-31K iteration designed to carry the Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. For instance, Indian Air Force veteran and avid Russia Watcher squadron leader Vijender K. Thacker wondered whether the MiG-31s could have been upgraded to hypersonic carrier variants. An additional batch of MiG-31 interceptors may augur well for the VKS and significantly bolster its combat capability against any potential adversary.